first thing Europe needs to learn is that there are uh, uh, third worlds in the first world. Uh, something we have known for a very long time elsewhere. Just as there are first worlds in the most deprived of, uh, of places in the world. Mm, as uh, Europe recognizes that uh, uh, there is a third world uh, within Europe, that that third world is uh, 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 not only expanding, but that the fault line between the third world within Europe and the first world within Europe is becoming wider, uh, it will also come the second uh, realization and the second lesson to be learned uh, from the South, that only by gathering together, only by organizing politically, can uh, those who are being uh, colonized, what we're witnessing is the self-colonization of Europe, of the north, uh, of the south of Europe by the north, uh, only by, by organizing themselves as poor people, not as European developed uh, 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 first world people, but as poor people, and realizing that that plight is, is, and their claim is no different from the plight of poor people in India or in China or in the Americas, including the United States. Uh, again, the same process, the process of, of uh, the third worldization of, of, of America is ongoing and is huge and it, gets, uh, it, it goes unreported. As that uh, uh, recognition becomes the basis of a new identity, then uh, 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 the next step will be uh, that of struggle. Uh, we ha again, we have already seen glimpses of that. What we do not have yet is the articulation and interconnectivity. That's what we need. This is the third lesson that Europe can learn from the South.